This video provides instructions for performing a chart view update. Chart view displays Jeppesen Terminal Procedures charts on the MFD, and it displays aircraft position overlaid on the chart. The chart view database is on a 14-day cycle and must be updated accordingly. To perform a chart view update, remove the bottom SD card from the MFD. Then, place the SD card in your computer. Connect to the internet. Open the Jeppesen Services Update Manager. Utilize your user ID and password to gain access to the update. After logging in, the Update Manager will display the available databases. Scroll until you locate the G1000 Electronic Chart Service with the appropriate cycle date. To determine the coverage of a particular database, highlight a line, then right-click to look at Properties. Once you have selected the correct database, click the Start button. With the new window displayed under Pick an Option, select the Download and Program Now option. Then, click Browse. Select the removable drive corresponding to where the SD card was inserted. Select OK and Continue. Do not remove the card from the card reader during the installation phase. The download will typically take 40 minutes on a high-quality internet connection. The card is ready for use pop-up box will appear when the download is complete. Then you may remove the card and bring it to the aircraft. Ensure the power is off and insert the SD card into the bottom slot of the MFD. Turn the battery power on. The displays may show multiple pop-up messages stating initializing system and the database will be verified before use. Once the databases have been verified by the system, the MFD splash screen will display. The database status will display on the right side of the screen. To ensure the update was successful, check the expiration date. The lower SD card must remain within the slot to prevent error messages from displaying. Please direct any questions you may have to Team Mustang at 316-517-5490 or by email at teammustang at txtav.com.